Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mr. Mark Schwanz, and I'm a digital coach at Washington and Mark Twain Elementary in Linwood, California. Today, I want to share about this awesome resource that I just learned about. I think I'd seen the Wonderopolis a number of years ago, but I just got shown Wonderopolis yesterday by a fellow teacher, and I was thinking this was so cool. So I thought it's great to uh, have as a resource, like a teacher could have it as a resource in their Google Classroom. Uh, think of the Wonderopolis as an ever-changing but multimedia encyclopedia of sorts. So you're gonna see uh, wonders of the day, like this one here, Pig, what is Pig Latin? And one thing you can do is just explore it. Just go through them and see what's popping up. But you can learn that, um, oh, I looked at this one, how dangerous is Mount Everest death zone. Now, if you click into the topic, you'll see that each one of them has key questions, things to find out. They have quizzes and uh, you can you can see that they, they have videos too and they're really high quality videos. So, you know what? This makes me think of like, uh, it's kind of like interactive TV in a way. But uh, there are, there are uh, great articles and they have their full of these highlighted vocabulary experience. Uh, they call them wonder words. So, you know, it could be worked into a comprehension uh, lesson or language arts, or you could tie it in with science, of course. Oh, gosh, the sky's the limit. But you know what? Uh, you can just explore it. Now, here's another thing that I found is look at this cool map they have at the bottom of the homepage. And it's uh, hot spots where boys and girls, uh, people, well, I guess people of all ages, uh, can you can see what they're asking about. So a couple of things real quick. Uh, explore Wonders lets you go a little deeper into searching for things that you're interested in or just browsing. What are you wondering? When you click on that, you get to ask a question and see what other questions are being asked. Here is Camp Wonderopolis. And I'm gonna learn more about this, but it looks like they started a virtual summer camp back in 2018. And it looks like they're leaving it open and it's free to sign up. But if you're a boy or girl under the age of 14, I think it is, uh, you got to have a parent's email address to uh, sign up. Got to have parent permission. Okay. But it's pretty cool. You can do this uh, summer camp and they have like seven wonders, they call it. And a lot of it is music exploration orientated. And uh, they even have a whole curriculum on maker experiences. And I'm a big fan of that. So anyway, just thought I would share it. Uh, Wonderopolis is worth checking out.